thankful for having me here. Uh, and I'm basically be sharing my personal experience, my journey of entrepreneurship and creating the world's first Android technology smartwatch. Um, it's actually a very rewarding experience when you start your own business, you have your own startup. When you, when you simply have a nine to five job, you do get a lot of money, right? You can be sure about your future. But when you have your own startup, when you have your own business, you control your life, you control your emotions, you control your dreams, you control your reality, basically. It's actually a very rewarding experience, like waking up one fine morning, reading the, reading the newspaper, and seeing your image, and reading your own product, and seeing your own product on the cover page of a leading newspaper. It's also very rewarding when you open a website, which I open daily, like for example, I open Yahoo, and I opened Yahoo and I instantly realized that my product was on the cover page of Yahoo. And that is something which is very rewarding. So I would basically be talking about chasing your dreams. Um, I strongly believe that any dream, any, any business, any startup can definitely be successful if you have strong belief in it. If you have strong belief in it, if you strongly believe in it. Remember the time when we were kids, we would just be wrapping a blanket and we would just be a yeah, superman. We would definitely be reminded of the time when we would just get on top of a broomstick and we would just be feeling that we are Harry Potter. <laughs> and the common point in both these statements is there was a belief. We believed that we are Harry Potter. We believed that we are the superman. So now, when we're starting a new business, when we're having a new startup, what we really need is we need to believe in it. And everywhere around you, you might not just believe in it. You have to be crazy enough to actually believe in your idea. I will be talking about chasing your dreams, and I will be talking about 11 steps to chasing your dreams and converting into a beautiful reality, which we call it entrepreneurship. The first one. We should create ideas, and we should have ideas that be crazy to everyone except you. Because if it's not crazy enough, trust me, it might exist in the world. And if you do have that one idea, it must be crazy, and it must be unique. And you must have, you must put all your heart, all your energy, and most importantly, you must put your soul into it. Because if you truly believe in something, trust me, it will happen, and it is bound to happen. The second one is discipline. You might just have a crazy idea that you want a flying building, you want flying cars. And that is crazy enough. And the most important part is how to go about it. And if you're going about any idea, it's the discipline, it's the perseverance, how much hard work you put into it. It's simply not that you have this one idea and you think, okay, you have this idea and now let's just change the world. Changing the world doesn't really happen sitting in conference halls or it doesn't really happen like just sitting at home and just speaking and dreaming. It definitely happens with a lot of hard work. And that is something which, we first, uh, which I and my team personally experienced like while creating the watch. Um, and many of the stages we felt that, like, what are we even doing? Like, will we even make the watch? Will this design ever exist? Will this happen? Will this happen with constant hard work? The third one is stay calm in success or failure. There were a lot of ups and there were a lot of downs. Um, there are times when there are good reviews about your product. There are times when the whole world is talking about it. You are on the cover page of leading newspapers and magazines. Your product has been rated good by a lot of blogs and by a lot of journalists. But the next moment, you might open your email and you might be Notify that okay, you have been sued. So what what is important is that you stay calm. Success or failure, it shouldn't affect you at all. You should stay calm. And I mean, there are like a lot of images in Facebook and Twitter as well like about staying calm. And trust me, it doesn't matter. Like you need to stay calm. It doesn't matter what happens. You might be the richest man on the planet today, and if you just grew up, you might not have any money at all. You cannot talk. You cannot calm about. The fourth one, um, something very similar to the third one, that is tolerance. 
you have to be really, really, really confident because it might just take a lot of time. For example, if you're thinking about an idea and you're just talking about it and thinking, thinking it loud with your close words, it might just take about a year to just arrive at that idea. So you definitely need to be very calm with it. And number 11, be a kid again. Don't expect anyone to understand. And what I started off by saying in the presentation, that it's very important to be up there again. You must go back to the need. Go back to the time when you used to be a Harry Potter. Go back to the time when you were Superman. We can be our own superheroes. We can, in fact, just have any random idea. And if we just think it from the heart and not from the mind, we can definitely be very successful with it. Because now, as we grow up, we start to think very logically. And at times, we are just going up big time. So what I'm saying is, if you have any idea, all you need is to be up there again, to think from the heart and not from the mind. And this is something what I would like to say. There are like a lot of entrepreneurs in here as well. And a lot of people um, just get for the conference. And those who actually want to pursue, and those who actually have that, um, that dream, I would actually say, dream the impossible dream, even if it seems impossible. Impossible definitely means I am possible. And I would like to quote one of my favorite heroes, um, Steve Jobs, that those who, like, those who are painful enough to actually think that they can change the world, they are the ones who actually do. So thank you so much. <laughs>